Hello, this is Matthew Perosu with the Jeweler Website Advisory Group coming to you from Nice, France. I am climbing the top of the, the chateau to overlook the entire city, but right now from this vantage point you can see the Azure Coast is on my right and part of the city of Nice is on my left. Today I am answering questions uh, that have come in to me from my uh, Facebook business page from the Jeweler Website Advisory Group uh, business page on Facebook as well as directly emailed to me th from my friends on my personal account. The topic of conversation, we're talking about jewelry stores, we're talking about search engine optimization for jewelry stores and various techniques of online marketing. I have a question here that has come in from uh, Amanda Jaron uh, with ajaron.com. She hails from Naples, Florida, that's in the United States. She asks me, well, she has a website, ajaron, A-J-A-R-O-N dot com, and her website is all in Flash. So her question for me today is, how much time should I devote to Facebook and Twitter? Should I be spending more time updating my current website and just post links when my site's in HTML, uh, which, of course, is a problem because now it's all in Flash. I cannot send anyone a hyperlink to just one of the items on my site. I have to send it to my homepage. Okay, well, Amanda, I've reviewed the activity from your personal Facebook and from, you, and from your business page and from your Twitter so I could try to better answer this question for you. So I believe, I, I, I believe you have the correct strategy with your, with your attack and how you use your Facebook uh, personal page or business page and, and your Twitter. You keep your personal uh, Facebook friendly, you tag yourself from your business page, and you like things from, from your business page. That's a really good strategy. Your, your A. Jaron Fine Jewelry Facebook business page is all about business references, which is great. You post links to the Home Shopping Network, you post links to your YouTube videos, your customers comment regularly, and you reply. Very good job. Uh, on Twitter, you uh, I, I compliment your strategy because you're feeding your Twitter account from your Facebook rather than your Twitter to, you, to your, fa your Facebook. I also compliment you on presetting scheduled tweets from, from Hootsuite, uh, Hootsuite.com. Uh, too many people allow their Twitter posts to repost on, on Facebook while at the same time they're posting on Facebook, and this creates an overposting situation and you tend to lose followers that way. So, excellent job on your strategy there. Without inside access to your accounts to measure your results, I think what you're doing on, on Twitter is actually pretty good. So keep, keep spending that much time on, on your Twitter process. Now, how much time should you be spending on Facebook? It looks like you check in with Facebook at least twice a day. Your activity seems to be at a good level, but if you're doing this on your own, it must take some kind of mental commitment. I also notice you are posting directly from the web. So what you should do is get yourself a smartphone uh, or an iPad, either one of these or one of these, or an Android or a Blackberry and install the Facebook app and go ahead and post from your mobile device rather than being locked to your computer all the time. Also if you have a, a, a mobile smartphone you can take uh, photographs from your design studio or from a, your next video shoot and you can post them live to your Facebook account while, uh, while you're doing it. It'll create a lot more interaction with, with uh, your customers. Now. Uh, I have to ask you, how much is your time worth? Because if you're not making enough money with all the activity you're spending on Facebook, if you're not making an, an, enough money and you don't see enough of a return on investment, then you're spending too much time on, on Facebook. As a business owner, you need to measure all of the things you do for your business. You have to measure them in terms of, well, are you getting a return on, on the investment? Now, how you go about measuring it, that's going to be unique to you, and that is unique to all of us. We just have to figure out what, what is appropriate for our, our purposes. Now, what would happen if you did have an HTML site? With, with an HTML site, you could share individual pages. You could share indivi individual uh, jewelry designs to your Facebook accounts. Customers could also share individual links to, uh, to their Facebook accounts, and customers could also share individual links to Twitter. This sharing of links would certainly increase search engine uh, visibility, which means more, uh, many more visitors. Now, every time a customer shares a link from your website, you have the potential of their friends seeing that link that's on their Facebook wall, and then their friends may get interested and then follow over to your website. Now, your current uh, flashlight does not have the ability for any kind of social interaction on the internet. Now, I want to give you two examples to look at so you can see where, where you should be going. These are the examples that we do show our, our customers all the time. 
All right, the first example is my demo website, which is perosijewelers.com, and that's actually uh, my last name and the American spelling of, of uh, jewelers. So it's P-E-R-O-S-I and then J-E-W-E-L-E-R-S.com. Now, go to, into that website, look at the jewelry section, and look at the individual items in the product catalog. What you'll see is that each item has its own Facebook comment box, it, each item has its own Facebook like box, as well as a, a star rating system that somebody can post a review about the individual item and then have it stored on your website. Uh, another example is just to simply look at the Jewelry Website Advisory Group's website, and that is jwag.biz, that's J-W-A-G dot B-I-Z, and go in there, and all of the pages we have in there, in all of our uh, educational series, uh, they each have a tweet button, a like button, and a share button, all for, all for Facebook. And if you need extra advice, Amanda, feel free to give my office a call. And thanks for the question. If you like this answer, uh, to this question, or if you'd like to see more about what the Jeweler Website Advisory Group is all about, please visit our website at www.jwag.biz. Again, that's www.jwag.biz. This is Matthew Perosi. I'll see you next time.